Of course, can stay with us as our celebration of the Great Yorkshire Show continues in a couple of minutes' time. With some sheep that live on a very famous farm, a pair of posing pigs, and a couple of boys from Barnsley going balmy over a flat pack tractor. See you soon for more from today at the Great Yorkshire Show. Well, this is my favourite part of the showground. It's the machinery section. Here we've got some very traditional looking tractors, but also some pretty unusual beasts too. But now, from one extreme to another, there is some rather nifty agricultural equipment here that, believe it or not, you have to put together yourself. It is, I suppose, the farming equivalent of flat pack furniture. But is it as easy to build as a bookcase? Well, we knew just the people to put it to the test. It's a busy morning at Cannon Hall Farm in Barnsley. There are over a thousand animals here to be fed, watered and mucked out. But today, farming brothers Rob and Dave have handed those duties over to other members of the team because they're eagerly awaiting a mystery delivery. We're not quite sure what we're waiting for. We've got a big parcel coming, but we don't know what it is. Come on, Dave, what you bought? I haven't bought anything, Rob. Seriously, this is a proper surprise. Is there an animal in there? I can't hear anything breathing. We ain't lifting that, Dave. What do you think, get the big machine? Yeah, definitely. I'll look you on. Down a bit, Dave. Rob and Dave's special delivery is, in fact, a flat pack tractor. A relatively new innovation to these shores, they're imported from China. And the distributor claims that anyone with some basic mechanical know-how should be able to put one together in around four hours. Do you think we're up to it? Well, there must be a manual here somewhere, Rob. Hey, this is what we need. There's a lot of pages there. Look at that. There's hundreds. <laughs> let's get it built. Right, you get it lifted off and let's get it unpacked. Luckily for the boys, Rob's more mechanically-minded son-in-law, also called Rob, has agreed to lend them a hand. Rob, drop everything. We need your help. I'm going to read these instructions. Can you guide Dave in? All right, OK. Ugh. As Rob assumes a familiar position, his brother Dave brings the new tractor into the workshop. All right, OK, Dave. Mud guards off first, lads. And be careful, it weighs a ton and a half. Don't get that on your toes. I'm glad he's come, Dave. You. I tell you what, we'd be lost without him. <laughs> but every team needs a leader, and I think I'm going to do that job. I'm reading every instruction. I'm telling them what to do, and it's working like a dream. With the tractor unpacked, it's time to get to work. Let's put that there. Incredibly, it only takes 80 bolts to put this thing together but it looks like Rob is going to supervise the fitting of every single one of them. So big wheels at the back, small wheels at the front. Right, we need to undo all them bolts to get the wheels on there. Well, can I just check that? Yeah, you need to undo the bolts to get the wheels on. I'm going to get a wheel. Thankfully, Rob has got off his chair and uh, given us a good hand. I'm like a machine. Tell you what, Rob, you could get a job with Formula One. With the wheels firmly secured, the boys are halfway through the build, and Dave already seems impressed. He's starting to look like a proper little tractor now. And over the next few hours, the tractor starts to take shape. It's really coming together. Uh, there's not much left. The bonnet, the steering wheel, and uh, I think the battery. That's all we've got to do. Four hours, three cups of tea, and two arguments after they'd started, it's the moment of truth. The boys have done it. Thanks to Rob's expert guidance, and let's be honest, his brother Dave and son-in-law Rob doing all of the actual work, the reward is a small but perfectly formed shiny red farming dream machine. But will it fire up first time? Are you ready, lads? Well done, lads. Get it in gear, then. Well done. As a reward for all their graft, 
Rob's generously allowed his workforce to watch him give his new toy its very first test drive. Well, I am delighted to say we are joined now by Rob and Dave Nicholson. Lads, who'd have thought that you two could put one of these together? If we can do it, Jules, anyone can. She's right there. <laughs> but in fairness, I mean, we've seen you on the farm. You are very practical. You're very handy. How easy was it? Well, Rob is excellent at giving orders. You As know, we know. Uh, you know, he read that book from cover to cover. So <laughs> we, how could we go wrong? My granddad always said, read the instructions. And it's taken until I'm a granddad to actually take his advice. <laughs> I've never read the instructions of anything before. Well, you've done a great job. Let's bring in Louise Howard here. Louise, you've been importing Louise. these for over 20 odd years. What is it about the flat pack idea that you think has really taken hold? We did, at the beginning, build them. It was actually one of our customers, really early on, that came to see us and said, I would have loved to have built this myself. So we started selling them as flat packs. People can build them themselves. You know, they really get to know the tractor, make sure it's done exactly how they want, the, want it to be done, and then they can maintain it. But I guess that's the thing. If you built it, it's easy to understand it to maintain it, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. You can do all your own servicing, yeah. maintain it for the rest of its life. So who's buying them, then? Um, we get equestrian yards, um, caravan parks, small holders. During the pandemic, people wanting to become self-sufficient. We sold huge numbers of tractors to people, you know, setting up their own vegetable patches, all of that kind of thing. And as we can see from the array of implements around us, there is a bit of kit for pretty much every job. We've got some shots of some of it being demonstrated yeah. here. The pallet forks took, took my fancy. Yeah, absolutely. So, like I say, a huge array of equipment. Um, it's all standard. Any equipment will fit. The pallet forks are really useful bits of kit. 750 kilo lift on the back of this particular tractor. But, you know, on the bigger tractors, you can you lift even more. It would even pick you up. But the versatility, I suppose, is is the key thing. But where where do you go next with this? Are we looking at you know flat pack combine harvesters or something? Well, flat pack electric tractors will be uh, will be next on the list. I guess that's it. I mean, electric is the future. Isn't uh, it? Absolutely. Louise, Rob. Dave, thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad you got it right. Have you actually checked their work? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, we've been over it and they did a good job. Yeah, Started yeah. first time, which is the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was lovely to drive as well. Good. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, it looked like great fun. I would love to spend the afternoon building one of these. I think you did a great job. But I have somewhere else to be. Ranveer, I'll be right with you.